Hey there, Pokemon fans, Fargem101 here with another Battle Spot Misadventure for you. So, today we're going up against Jerome with a team of six ones that I just enjoy. Uh, like the design, I've really liked the Pokemon and we just picked up to have a blast on Battle Spot. So, Jerome is bringing with him a pretty scary team to be fair. Um, all three of his mons are really, really dangerous, particularly Kang and Garchomp. And Gliscor can be horrendous. So, Don Ironhide, our Donphan, is pretty much our win condition here if we can deal with that Kangas Khan, which Marol is probably going to be our best bet. Uh, we're bringing Trevenant because Trevenant's got a bit of bulk and hopefully should be able to deal with something if we need him to. But um, our key for this game really is taking out that um, Kangaskhan where we can, getting Donphan in, and then just spamming Ice Shard like a little bitch until we manage to take these things out. So um, if you're excited, guys, and you enjoy this one, please go ahead and leave a like rating at the end of the video. Uh, and I'll comment in the comment section, I'll try and reply back to But without wasting any more time, we'll jump straight into the match. So, uh, we're going to open up with Don Fan. Um, so, unless he opens with the Kang. Um, but he does actually, in fact, open with the Garchomp. So, um, it's not the nice shi uh, shiny Garchomp as well. So, uh, we're just going to click Ice Shard here. It's times four. We've got no special attack investment. But it should be, yeah, easily a two hit KO. Um, we're defensive as well. So, this Dragon Claw isn't going to hurt too much. And I think I put Rocky Helmet on just for, you know, fun. Because um, I couldn't find the left three leftovers at the time. So, we can see Garchomp switch out. Um, it doesn't mean Ice Shard is going. He goes out into the Kangaskhan. Again, another shiny Kangaskhan. Um, we're going to go for an Ice Shard, which was meant in, intended to finish off the Chomp, but Kanga's going to take that really, really well. And we're actually going to predict the fake out from Kangaskhan. We're going to switch into Maral here, because Maral is our answer to this thing. Um, she can absolutely destroy this thing given half a chance. So we're going to get an Intimidate off on it. Uh, as we can see, Mega Kang is going to Mega Evolve and should get a fake, off, fake out off. Fake off, out, fake out, off. Um, here, which is what we were predicting. So, it is intimidated. It shouldn't do too much. Yeah, it doesn't do too much. Um, hits twice. We're going to flinch, but that's fine. We really just wanted to get the intimidate drop. And um, we're actually going to switch Mara out here and go out into Trevenant, predicting a fighting type attack. Um, because what I want to then be able to do is bring Mara back in and intimidate this thing. But it does actually go for an EQ, which is not great news for us because Mara is weak to that. Um, Trevenant's going to take that really well. We can actually willow this bit with Trevenant though, um, which is what we're going to do now. So we see we take that pretty well. Um, he's going to go for a Sucker Punch and Fire, which we kind of thought he might do, which is why willow was such a safe play. Um, we're going to burn Kangas Khan. So this Kangas Khan is getting now uh, intimidated and burnt. Its attack's getting dropped and dropped and dropped. So um, if it is a Gen Kangas Khan 6 IV shiny one, we're going to just play it a little bit. We're going to protect this turn because why not? Um, he goes for a Sucker Punch again. It's going to fail. Uh, we could have technically got a free switch into Mara there, but um, we don't really need to at this precise moment. We're going to switch out of tre we're going to switch Trevenant out. Um, he knows I can't protect this turn. I'm predicting to go for probably another Sucker Punch um, as we go for another Intimidate. So this is now double Intimidated and burn, but he does in fact actually go for the Earthquake that time. So maybe he predicted that switch, or maybe he just wanted to guarantee get some damage off. Um, that second hit does a load of damage though. Um, even with the Intimidate and Burn, so that would have one shot on us if we had given them a lot more if we hadn't burned. So, uh, we've got no reason not to Mega Revolve staying there and just try and finish this thing off. So, Meryl's going to Mega Revolve. We can definitely take another EQ, unless he crits us. Please don't crit us. Um, as he goes for an EQ, that's fine. We're just going to play rough and finish this thing off. That's fine. Takes us down to 36, no crit, so... This thing's attack being nerfed has been really, really important to the game. Play Rough is thankfully going to connect and not miss because we've had that happen before. Uh, and we're going to complete with KO Kanga. So the only thing, so nothing now is stopping our Don Fan from pretty much sweeping. Um, he goes out into the Glide Score. So we see a shiny Glide Score come through. Um, he's going to protect, which I'm really not kind of surprised about, to be fair. He wants to get his Poison Heal going, which makes sense. We're just going to go for an Iron Head because it would have done a decent amount of damage, even though it was only neutral. Um, as he does go for EQ, that probably we probably should have sucker punched that turn to be fair guys, but I wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do. So uh, Marol is going to go down. We're, we're still in a good place. We can now just bring Donphan in. And Donphan can pretty much finish this game off for us to be fair. Um, as we're going to see, protect on the guy score here just to get some of its end, just to put itself back up to four hit points. Um, as much as it can with its poison heal. Um, but we now just spam Ice Shard. That's literally all we need to do to win. So Ice Shard is a just under 3 hit KO. And he's going to actually go for a Facade. We're defensive. It shouldn't do too much. We don't have recovery. Rocket Helmet is definitely bringing it into Ice Shard range. 
Um, so he's going to get his poison heal. We're going to predict, predict, uh, protect this turn. We are just probably just going to ice shard again, just on the off chance. But literally, ice shard is our go-to move now. All we need to do to win this game is keep spamming ice shard. He can protect as much as he can, but he's not going to get enough energy back to make much of a difference. I don't think so. Ice shard is again going to connect. He's going to just miss picking up the KO. Um, he's going to go for an EQ. We should live that. Yeah, we're going to live on 23. Uh, we're going to see Poison Heal. Um, again, we, he's going to go for a Protect just to get enough energy back. But Ice Shot should pick up the KO this turn. So his only chance now is to try and pull off a double protect, which he's going to fail. So he makes the right play, but he's going to fail through. Um, Ice Shard should now pick up the KO for us. Yeah, so Ice Shard does enough to take out this um, Gliscor. So Don Fan just sitting pretty right now as out comes the, the Garchomp. And um, that thing is way, way, way low enough for an Ice Shard to take this thing out. So we've got no reason not to stay here and spam it. And take out the Garchomp. So Don Fan really put in some work for us since that Kang got, out, got destroyed and put out of the way. Um, so Don Fan is identified as our win condition for that match. It really put in some work for us. So great, great job there from Ironhide. If you enjoyed that one, guys, please go ahead and leave a like, rating, or comment down below. And if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now. Bye. <laughs>